Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. This time, let's go back to our adventures in Bhutan. So, a funny thing about Bhutan. Um, we're at 3,000 metres and all the chips and so forth are packaged at more or less sea level, at one atmosphere. And so, all your packets of chippies puff up like pillows with the air pressure when you're in Bhutan. Weird. What do you think happens when a bunch of geeks in a fab lab discover an industrial cardboard box cutter? Let's see, shall we? Yep, that's what geeks do with a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. Let's go find some beer. So everyone's seen 3D printers before. They print wonderful stuff. Uh, we got a couple like that, eh? Um, and as well as the wonderful stuff, there is the stuff that is left over. And uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to put bags of the stuff that is left over into a t-shirt press and turn it into something that is hopefully useful and yeah with pretty patterns in it awesome hey maybe we could arrange those deliberately that would be great all right so let's get on with mucking about we have here bags of of, of plastic chips uh, from 3d printing waste which are apparently uh, ground up using free child labor um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> then they're arranged basically on a what looks to be like a piece of sill plat from the bakery section. Um, and then uh, with a metal plate underneath, that's put into the heat press. And this, this is the high-tech pressing flat system, <laughs> as used by Vinters through the ages. There we go. <laughs> The ancient Fab Lab tradition of pressing the PLA. Yeah. All right, show, yeah. show me, show me your wondrous work. Oh. There we are. And now to the laser cutter. Now this project is bringing out the truly artistic side of of all the Fab Lab geeks. Ta -da. <laughs> okay, there's my my grandiose attempt at um, making your stuff up before. And all right, um, take it away. Press. <laughs> all right. Two minutes later. So this is after three minutes. Squishy. Oh, it's a bit squishy. Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. Now we press the other. Sorry, that was the first one was for three minutes. And now it's two minutes. At around 200 Celsius. There we go. Time passes and. You can freeze a wood And I, I have to spend some time standing on, uh, on the board. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, here we go. Squish, squish, squish. Yeah. Hey, I go all the way up to the top. Oh. What's going on behind? Oh yeah, yeah. You, 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 you just keep on going. There we are. So now I, I have to do my my boogie board. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. You have to press. I have to press hard. I think yes. Think heavy thoughts. Okay. Yes. Right. Didn't do that. Looking heavy. Yes. All right. I'm bored. No, actually, that's the board. Let's see what's under the board. Yeah. Uh, get up. All right. So. Can I do it? Yeah, that should be okay. Moment of truth. Do we do we peel it back down here, or do we? What's the best way to do it? Just peel it off here. Oh, nice. And there we are, and that that way up is the Geeko Farm logo, more or less. <laughs> Probably less, but we'll go for more. Here we go, Kung Fu Panda. Yes. 
Okay, Fab Lab session over. Here I am, wandering around the streets of Bhutan at night, trying to find the hotel. All right, there is another way of getting to the Fab Lab. We have our own little bus, which sometimes turns up. Fair enough. So I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, I may be using it for a week. Right, so just for the people who are listening to the video, uh, this machine um, cuts so and folds. Yeah, cuts and, cuts and folds cardboard, right? Yeah, cardboard. Um, I think it can cut leathers and fabrics, but uh, personally, I never use that. But right, it can cut acrylic as well. And that looks like a yeah, looks like a router bit there yeah. on the on the right. Yes. Um, we've got that's um, some kind of rotating blade, yeah. okay. uh, oscillating, oscillating blade. blade, and the other thing is a creasing roller. Yeah. yeah. Yes, at the center. Yeah. And I'll be careful to keep out of the way. Uh, we'll use some zoom. There we go. Trying to guess which way it goes. Keeps on going out of focus. Anyway, this is the design that it's producing. I see for some reason you have to uh, reverse some of the characters. Um, because I always cut from inner side. Can I video you? Yeah. <laughs> so I always cut from the inner side, so I always reverse it. So you when you flip it over, then have the extra side. Right, so it looks neater when you do it that yes. way. Okay. That's correct. It's a very beginner branding. Uh -huh. But you can buy a lot of China brand and a fraction of the top. And we are done. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So all, all these pieces will make a, a, a dome how yeah. big? A dome, a domestic dome, yeah. which I share in the group chat. All right, and um, yeah, that one's obviously uh, going to be smaller yeah. than the one we showed Yeah, the one is yesterday. about 1.7 meters. Right. The one we have yeah. about, about 3 meters. About 3 meters. 5 meters. Yeah. And it was double walled as well. Is yes. that that for yeah, for yeah. rigidity? Yes, for rigidity. Yeah. Right. Actually, back home I use a single wall. Single walls, uh, it's good enough, but uh, we have no double wall. Just yeah. make full use of them. Well, thank yes. you. That was a very interesting project. <laughs> thank you. And action! Here we go. Here is the bunch of nice people that have turned up to uh, make keyboards for the disabled. Um, and they are learning how to program a Raspberry Pi and how to solder up an epoxy in switches. Um, and we have people of all abilities in here, and I'm very glad to see them. Thanks very much for turning up, folks. And so we leave the Super Fab Lab in Bhutan after having a crazy time, and I am now exhausted. Yep. What about you, Adrian? Yeah, totally <laughs> exhausted. Uh, uh, best conference ever. All right, hope to see you in the next one. And there goes our ride. And that's all I'm going to say about it. And there is morning over the Himalayas. And we are now leaving Paro Airport and Bhutan. Uh, no big terminal gates in Paro Airport. It's been nice flat back to here. I'll be hanging out at the airport for quite a while. All right. Yeah. Well, there's our ride. What's this about not using phones on the tarmac? I don't know. I can't remember any of that. Yeah. Everyone else is doing it. Okay.
Oh well. Goodbye, big sound. Up we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. But that's your all oh, oh, important thing. We are just two subscribers away from having 100 subscribers on YouTube. So please click like and subscribe so that we can get our cardboard YouTube button. But for now, that's your lot. Down on Geeko Farm. Thank you.